We mark this place, we bless this space for all our work to come. And thank the wisdom of the universe for grace and peace and love. in front of the buildings and this is mostly where the project's taking place. Um, this is a million dollars from the New York State DEC that's meant to deal with uh, rainwater capture, uh, rain infiltration, and taking care of our aquifer and making sure all that water we have uh, running off our buildings and off our roadways actually gets down into the aquifer and isn't just pumped into the storm drains. So we're gonna walk you around a little bit and show you what's going on. And so you know what it's gonna look like at the end. So I know one of the first things we surprised you all with was the trees coming down and large shrubs in front of the academy here. So there were two very large yew shrubs and a couple of holly trees that are no longer here. And we took a lot of time thinking about their removal and making that decision. As you know, they were very, very old, uh, old trees and they were taking a lot of time to maintain. And unfortunately, when things get kind of that big and unwieldy, there's not a lot you can do to contain them. So it was a matter of take them down now or take them down in a few years. So we decided since we're doing this project anyway, this is a great time to think about it holistically and make sure that we're, we're doing the right thing and doing it all together. So those came down and we'll be planting more trees and shrubs in order to replace all that biomass. The yews were sort of a tr very traditional shrub to plant uh, back in the day when these buildings were built, but they're not a native shrub, so they don't provide any habitat, any fruits or anything for the native birds. Um, and the hollies are European holly variety, so it's the same story there. They look green and lush, but they don't really actually fit in with the ecosystem here. So another piece to this project is not only uh, filtering and cleaning all of our rainwater and making sure it goes into the aquifer, but creating habitat for all our uh, animal and plant neighbors in the area. Probably all noticed the old cracked curb here coming out and the process of pouring the new curb that went in. So the reason we needed to do that is we're actually going to be regrading the whole driveway parking area here. So the curb needed to be at the right height we needed to fix it up and then by having it at the right height and re-poured we're able to direct the water in the right direction and you can see this cutout down here when the rains come and we get those two inch crazy rainstorms so i'm standing on one of the two new porous paver areas and we've chosen these bricks that have some spacing between them and when it rains, the water will trickle down between the stone that's laid between these bricks. So these porous bricks, it's a similar idea to what we have in the rain gardens where we're capturing the water where it is instead of having it flow off. And here it will just trickle right down into the aquifer and we'll have the, this spot in front of the chapel and the other one in front of the academy. That'll be a nice little place to sit There'll be plantings in front of it to screen between the sitting area and the parking area. And you'll be able to look out at the beautiful lawns. So in this planting area between the, the seating area here and the parking area, 
We're going to have a native shrub row that'll attract birds, um, that will eat the berries, and we'll have a nice native screen that will grow up into a hedge over the years and create sort of um, a nice little uh, block between our roadway and this seating area. So in the main part of the roadway here, what we're going to do is pull up all this broken old asphalt and relay it so that it's angled towards the parking areas and the lawns. And then in the parking areas themselves will be the porous asphalt. Um, and that will allow all the water that's running from the main roadway down into the parking areas to absorb into the aquifer. So we'll have a whole new roadway here and it'll look gorgeous. And then we only actually need that small portion in the parking areas to be porous asphalt, which is great because it works so well that you don't need the whole roadway in porous asphalt and it makes it easier to maintain and it'll last longer because it's not being driven on constantly. The porous asphalt works is it looks very similar to regular asphalt, but there's little micro holes in it um, and that will allow the water to infiltrate in. And under that top layer, there's different layers of sand and stone and aggregate that give the water a place to go. Um, even in our sandy soils that we have here, you really need to make sure that it can absorb lots of water. So we're here in front of building three where I'm sure you've noticed the construction happening. Most of what's happening here is actually just regrading. So changing the level of the soil so that all the water is flowing in the direction we need it to. And a smaller portion of this will actually be the rain garden. So I'll take you over to the area where the plantings will actually be. <laughs> Get there, okay. So down in this area behind me will be where the plantings are for the rain garden and we'll have some beautiful native plants in there. And as you can see, we're working around all of the trees that are here. There are no more trees coming out. We love all these great trees in front of the building and we're going to keep all of those. And just this little scoop out here where will be where all the plantings are. And they're putting in some layers of stone below it to add to the drainage and make sure that when we get a big rainstorm and all the water flows off the roofs and off the driveways here there's plenty of capacity to soak up that water in this area. I'm standing in was the temporary parking area when the renovation of the convent was happening. So we're in the process of returning this to natural vegetation that will be planted in the spring. But right now we're just getting some topsoil on here after the RCA was all removed and pulled off. So in the back of the buildings here, there will be another two rain gardens. So coming out the new entrance or new exit in the back here, I'm standing right in the area where one of the rain gardens will be. Again, none of these trees will be disturbed and we'll just have some plantings in the middle of this area here. So another thing we're able to do through this grant is put up some shrubs and a tree as screening around this generator because um, it definitely doesn't fit in with the aesthetic we're trying to have of a nice natural look. So we're lucky to be able to put in some shrubs and trees that will act as a barrier 
and screen some of this and it will match the aesthetic of the rain garden in front of it. So we'll also have a small rain garden in front of this beautiful sweet gum tree uh, across from the EV charging stations. And as you can see, I'm sort of standing in a little bit of a mud pit. You can see where when it rains, the water and sand and debris from the road all washes down here. And especially in the winter, it can be sort of hard to see that this is a muddy puddle and people get stuck in it. So this is a perfect spot to have a rain garden. Um, it'll delineate the road, soak up the water and look beautiful. So really looking forward to having this along this little bit of roadway here. Very excited about this project because this whole green innovation a project that we're able to do really reaffirms and is in keeping with the land ethics statement that the sisters affirmed in 2015 and our commitment to care for the earth and care for the land and water and the creatures in our community. We mark this place, we bless this space for all our